What is up and welcome to Mounts on the Map and welcome to beautiful San Francisco as you can see by the Golden Gate Bridge behind me here at sunset. In this series of videos I'm going to be talking to you about all things San Francisco including where we stayed, the things to do and also the best places to eat in the city. So for this video I'm going to be taking you on a San Fran food tour and we've got it all covered showcasing the absolute must eats if you're visiting the city from visiting Chinatown to pick up the famous egg custard tart to getting our brunch on with sweet yet savoury thick cut millionaire's bacon. This video has already got me salivating. We're also going old school, heading to an authentic family owned Italian deli and devouring arguably the best pizza in the city, chefed up by a world pizza champion. And that's just a taste of what's to come. But let's start the day off right with brunch as we head to Sweet Maple a chilled restaurant and coffee house that exclusively serves brunch being open from 8am to 2.30pm on the weekdays and 3pm on the weekends. What makes Sweet Maple a unique spot is that it combines a fusion of American dining with the flavours and finesse of Asian culture and that twist on flavours can be seen throughout the menu meaning that there's something for everyone. Now if you're hitting up Sweet Maple one thing that you have to try because it's what they're famous for is the millionaire's bacon so good that it was featured on the Discovery Network's United States of Bacon show. Yes, there's a show dedicated to all things bacon. So what is Millionaire's Bacon and what's the hype all about? Well, imagine this juicy thick cut bacon seasoned with brown sugar, cayenne and red and black pepper and then slow cooked for hours to produce the most succulent, sweet and spicy bacon you'll ever taste. In the UK that whole sweet savoury vibe hasn't really taken off but oh lordy lord this was good and nothing like I've ever tasted. I went for the poached eggs with that delicious millionaire's bacon served with a potato medley and a ciabatta au levant toast. Fancy. The eggs were cooked to perfection passing the egg pop test with flying colours. And speaking of colours just look how beautifully presented this plate is. It's a work of art. Also I think this was the first time I'd had purple potatoes and they were crispy on the outside and fluffy on the inside with a flavour similar to that of a sweet potato. This was the perfect start to my time in San Fran and after smashing down some fresh OJ it was on to the next munch. Now when I knew I was going to be in America one thing I knew I had to try was an authentic Italian deli. You know the family owned deli with cold cut meats as far as the eye can see, freshly made bread and cheese for days and to satisfy this craving I hit up Molinari's Delicatessen serving up banging sandwiches since 1896 making it one of America's oldest delis. I just love the vibe of this place and decided to get the Molinari special Italian combo. Go big or go home that's what I say. Veggies are covered too at Malinari's with Mrs on the map going for the eggplant palm which is a breaded eggplant cutlet, homemade marinara sauce, fresh mozz and sun dried tomatoes. Flavour game on point. So we're at Malinari's Delicatessen, one of the oldest sandwich shops in the city and I've heard good things about this place. I went for the Italian special, we got so many different cold cut meats, provolone cheese and a bit of salad. We got some bell peppers, onions, tomato. Now this is a beast and let's give it a go. <laughs> Life's so good. You get a bit of everything. You get a kick of the meats, all those cold cut meats. You get that cheese. The pickles give it a bit of a sourness to it. And then you've got kind of like a mayo on it as well. The perfect Italian sandwich. England, you need to up your sandwich game because this is banging. You dropped some of the pickles. May have dropped some on the floor. But the pigeons will love that. <laughs> this is so good, man. From one sandwich to another, it's time for a little sweet treat as we hit up Baked Bear, combining my two loves of ice cream and cookies in the form of an ice cream cookie sandwich. And if cookies ain't for you, they also do brownie and donut ice cream sandwiches. And these sandwiches are bespoke to your taste buds as you start by picking your top and bottom cookies which can be the same or you can get creative and mix and match. Cookies chosen you then get to choose your ice cream, toppings and can get it warmed up should you want that melty gooeyness. I'm not gonna lie when I walked in and saw the decor was a full on vibe I knew this place wasn't gonna disappoint. 
Okay, so we're at Baked Bear, and what we've got is this monster cookie sandwich. So we've got two types of cookie. This is cookies and cream cookie, and then this blue cookie is basically white chocolate, Oreos, and cookie crumb. And in between here, I've gone for a s'mores ice cream. Let's give this cookie sandwich a go. This is my kind of sandwich we're talking about. Oh. Man, that is good. It's actually not overly sweet. The perfect balance of cookie and ice cream, the perfect balance of a bit of chocolate, a bit of cookie, a lot of cookie, and then that s'mores ice cream. Killer place, man. You have to try it if you're here. You're probably seeing a theme here, but I love me a sandwich, but probably my favorite type of sandwich has got to be the classic American cheeseburger. Super Duper Burger is a San Fran OG burger joint with its first restaurant opening in the Golden City before growing throughout the Bay Area with multiple restaurants. This is a testament to the incredibly fresh ingredients including organic, locally sourced meat and homemade pickles. If you're a meat eater, you gotta get the classic super burger with two smash patties, lettuce, tomato, onion and their secret super sauce. The beef patties were delicious, juicy, tender and with a crispy edge, just how smash burgers should be. This was served with a side of skin on fries and washed down with a cookies and cream milkshake. Seriously good stuff man. So we're on our way to Ghirardelli Square, which is basically home to one of America's oldest chocolate companies, Ghirardelli Chocolate, where we're going to be having one of their chocolate sundaes, and I can't wait. Established in 1852, the West Coast chocolatier Ghirardelli has been creating creamy, velvety chocolate goodness for a hot minute, but it all started here in San Fran and has become a national treasure. You'll find Ghirardelli at the suitably named Ghirardelli Square, which is only a short walk from the iconic Fisherman's Wharf. And you can't miss it. There's literally giant letters pointing it out. I had heard amazing things about their chocolate, but I had my eyes on one particular prize, the Ghirardelli World Famous Hot Fudge Sunday. So this is the Ghirardelli World Famous Hot Fudge Sunday, and it's got some weight to it, man. Just look at it. Hot fudge sauce, ice cream, whipped cream, nuts, cherry and chocolate on top. So we're gonna go in for all the layers. Oh. <laughs> we got a good amount, a bit of everything. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's some good ice cream. The chocolate and that is insane, it's so rich. Hot, chocolatey, gooey. Man, I'm gonna put on some weight after this holiday. Mission accomplished. Next up, we're heading to one of the city's best, if not the best pizza place. And after reading so many good things, I had to check it out for myself to see if the hype was real. Nestled in San Francisco's Little Italy is Tony's Pizza, the pizzeria of 13 time world pizza champion, Tony Gemignani. I didn't even know that there was a pizza championship, but you learn something new every day. My guys got accolades for days, so I had a sneaky suspicion we were onto a winner. And after waiting ages for a table due to the queues, we finally got in, sat down and took it all in. The vibe of this place is on point and with a homely ambience, it felt like something out of a movie. As for the pizza, the great thing about Tony's is that there are so many styles of pizza, including New York and Detroit style, as well as classic, authentic, Italian Neapolitan pizza. Mrs. On The Map being veggie went for the veggie pizza, classic Italian style, topped with mushrooms, red onions, mozzarella, bell peppers, black olives, feta cheese, and pepperdo peppers. How good does that look? If you're vegan, they also do plant-based pizzas with vegan cheese. I decided to devour the picante, classic American style topped with mozzarella, garlic, pepperoni, Portuguese sausage, chorizo, calabrese peppers, serrano and banana peppers, green onions, Cholula hot sauce and ricotta cheese. That's a lot of toppings, but damn it was good. Now one thing to be aware of if you want to munch here is that number one, the pizzas are monstrously big. And number two, they are on the pricey side with both of our pizzas costing $29 each. In my opinion though, 
Well worth it, man. It's such good pizza. Okay, so we've gone for the picante. So we've got pepperoni, ricotta cheese, jalapenos, sausage, basically loads of toppings, and I can't wait to try it. We waited so long for this pizza. Let's give it a go. That was sick. Banging pizza, man. This is amazing. This is why it's one of the city's most popular, most famous pizzas. And it's got this Cholula hot sauce on the ricotta, kind of like a buffalo sauce. Can't beat it, man. This is some good pizza. If you're in San Francisco, you have to try this. And for our final San Fran must eat, we're heading to Chinatown, a cultural hotspot with so many interesting shops and things to see. So I headed to Garden Bakery to try the famous San Francisco egg custard tart. Look at that. Now it wouldn't be a San Francisco food video without an egg custard tart and the Golden Gate Bridge here in San Francisco. So let's give this bad boy a go. I've heard good things. Mm, look at that. We've got that amazing egg custard. We've got those layers of pastry. And it's not too sweet, not too savoury, it's just perfect. What a way to end the trip here in San Francisco with an egg custard tart. San Francisco, it's been a pleasure. If you enjoyed the videos, then leave a like, comment if you've got any questions, and subscribe for more. Till next time, peace!